so it's been a light news week. <laughs> Great or excellent service can be expensive. However, terrible or no service can cost you a fortune. Anytime you're sick, and I mean really sick, uh, do you self-diagnose yourself and just get some over-the-counter medication and just hope for the best? Uh, typically, I go to the doctor whenever I am feeling ill to the point where I cannot medicate or do anything myself to fix it. Never once do I ever say, hey, I am not going to pay that doctor. So a lot of buzz going around about realtors on the buy side of properties uh, not receiving compensation. And to that, all I'll say is this. Listen, I don't think that um, everyone is qualified to be a realtor. Even there's certain realtors that have licenses aren't qualified to be realtors because they don't view themselves as professionals. And if you don't view yourself as a professional, you're not going to be a professional. You're not gonna know how to communicate your value, your worth, and what you can do to help people accomplish their goals or save money when it comes to negotiating terms for a property that you're looking to purchase. So. If you can't communicate properly, then you won't communicate properly. But if you view yourself as a professional and practice like a professional, have a process, have a system, have structure, you have something that you can bring as a value proposition to others. So for all of you who may be thinking about this uh, current lawsuit settlement that's really the buzz around the real estate uh, industry here lately, I would say this. Professionals are in their industry for a reason. Um, if you are not working with a professional, find the professional. I'm glad to help you uh, find the right professional for you. So if you have any questions, give us a call.